Welcome my sisters and brothers to Raw Vibrant Health. I'm here with a very special guest, one of my best buddies here, Phil DeRico. He's a beast, an absolute beast. He's been in the plant world, he's been a plant hero for 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. With 20 years as a vegetarian. Yep. 20 years as a vegan. Well, 30 altogether, but 20, yeah. okay. Yes. And, yeah, and then 10 years as a raw vegan. Okay. Transitioning. Yep. Correct? Correct. Also, he has a son who is 26 years old who has been raised vegan. Vegan from, since birth. From birth. Yep. And this guy, he's not looking all emaciated or shriveled up. This guy looks strong as an ox. And he's he, like, yeah, he looks wonderful. So um, I really wanted to just share with you guys that, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that they teach us. It's, it's not it's because of other other interests and for fear and for different profit and gains and all this stuff and I want to show you I want to blow the lid off some things and that's why I've got Phil here so Phil how did you get in on this so uh, back in college I was uh, deeply involved with Hatha yoga and uh, so yoga most yogis are vegetarian and that's how that started um i was just naturally moving towards that and uh, did it kind of sequentially eliminating beef and pork and chicken and i was still eating fish until somebody said you know fish are animals and that was the end of that kept eating uh, cheese not so much eggs and I was doing that for like 20 years I thought I was doing the right thing that I wasn't killing any animals then I actually met a vegan who explained it to me at the uh, North American Vegetarian Society conference the first conference I went to I thought I was alone in the world with this with my spouse at the time and so they explained uh, you know meat and meat and eggs are still part of the process and all the, the all the females are killed in the uh too bad you're not editing this editing this <laughs> a lot okay. of animals are killed in the oh, egg wow. industry yeah. all the male chicks are immediately killed in terrible ways they, they might even just be ground up a lot um yeah. and then in the dairy industry when a cow, the, the dairy industry exists because of a rape of the female cows, that's the only way they produce milk if they're pregnant. When the calf is born, if it's a female, it goes into the slavery. If it's a male, it's locked in a little crate so it can't move. It's not even fed its mother's milk to develop a, a flesh that's good to sell as veal. And uh, the cow, the adult female cows are just virtual slaves, just being having their uh, udders sucked on by machines, and then eventually when they're spent, they end up going to the slaughterhouse. So anyone who's following a vegetarian diet, look at your reasons for doing that, and look a little deeper. Um, if you're consuming dairy products, you are directly paying other people to kill cows for you. That's basically it. Um, so uh, after 20 years of doing that, Thought I was doing the right thing, got woken up, and I've been vegan for 30 years, and the last 10 I've been 100% raw. And that's been a little harder. So I first tried the raw diet in 1980, and that I wasn't even vegan. I was vegetarian, uh, and that went great for a couple of months, and then the winter came. Uh, we were living in New York City, and that was kind of the end of that. And then I tried it again over the decades, and it never lasted more than uh, three or four months. And then about 10 years ago, I was in massage school. I'm, I'm a licensed massage therapist. I was in massage school. I was getting arthritis in my knuckles and my distal finger joints. And my uh, professor in pathology said, try the anti-inflammation diet, which is no flour, no oil, no sweetener salt there and uh, so I thought well if I take all that stuff out I'm already vegan what's left raw fruits and vegetables and so uh, I started that then 
and also since 1980, I truly believed in my heart that this is the natural diet of humans. No other animal on the planet uh, cooks its food, whether herbivore or carnivore. The animal sees the food, grabs it right then and there, and eats it. No preparation, no cooking. Uh, carnivores eat eat the whole animal. I mean, humans can't eat meat like that. We're not even designed like that. We have the digestive system that is most closely like the fr frugarious apes. Um, yeah, so my, this cleared up right away. I honestly still have a little bit in these distal fingers and that's been a work in progress. And light has been helping me with that, absolutely. And uh, yes, thank you so much. Oh. Yeah, because of that's course. improving yeah. now. Yeah, that's right. uh, yeah. This this cleared up right away. This was in both knuckles. That cleared up right away when I started eating raw. This has been a little that this had existed before that time, so it's taken longer to get rid of. But light has been helping me with that. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah. And uh, I don't know. Um, I'll be seventy in a few weeks. Bastille Day. Uh, for you Americans, that's July fourteenth. Um, oh, I was wondering when your birthday was. Okay. <laughs> And I'll be 70, so I'm on no medications. I have no, uh, condi you know, medical conditions. I have a few muscular things. Uh, I do 23 miles on my bicycle with my legs, not an electric bike, and I could do more. Um, just a couple of years ago with my son, we did 60 miles at the Jersey Shore. That was all flat here. My 23 miles has about 1,500 uh, feet of vertical uh, gain. Um, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I mean, this guy is a total beast. Like, he's 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 out there, like he said, riding bikes. He's hiking. He's going dancing, like, all the time. Oh, yeah. I really I got he's into dancing a vigorous. year ago. Yeah, this, this dude is just, like, optimally just going. The other day we went hiking, and I was like, oh, man, I just want to eat grapes and chill out. And I hadn't hiked in a while. And he's like... He's like, peace, man. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go dance. I yeah, was like, I went... after this, like, we just had like a like a five hour uh, hike on like you know scrambling on boulders and stuff. And yeah, I went to a dance that night. It was it's great. Just, like, yeah. So I mean, but shouldn't you be weak and frail and like because you're where where's your protein coming? I mean, that's that's Pro the thing, right? That's the big thing is where's Pro your protein? Come on. Protein is a fucking lie <laughs> developed by the meat and dairy industry to sell their products from murder and that's all it is you don't need protein you need amino acids and there are amino acids in fruits and vegetables you eat a variety if you eat enough calories you're eating enough protein there are no people in this country are not getting diseases from protein deficiency the people people in this country are getting diseases from protein excess because the protein is broken down and makes uric acid and uh, so the diseases, I, I can't even speak too eloquently about this, but I'm going to say cancer and other stuff are diseases of protein excess. And it's all just a fucking myth supported by the government to sell the products of an industry that relies on murder to create its product. Is that strong enough? Yeah, it's, I mean, hey, so, sorry for the strong language, but hey, sometimes, you know, a little strong language when it's, when it's, having to do with like innocent lives and you know a lot of people they 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 choose to either look away or justify you know but i would i always just tell people just watch earthlings and then if you if you watch that you, it, you can still and, and i'm not that you know i'm not the angry vegan but me neither. and he's me not neither. either i'm and, not either I'm but just... but it's like you know when when you know you know and you know i, I wish that i wasn't the grass fed and all this stuff for eight, eight nine years before doing getting on this path myself but hey at least it was sometimes sometimes it's a better life for them not always but at the end they always have to go to the slaughterhouse which is of course torture no matter if it's grass fed or not unless the small amount of people who actually kill the animal themselves which is how rare is that I mean, very rare very rare right so, so these so. animals besides the whole everything I've already discussed, there's the fact when the animal is slaughtered, it is filled with fear. It is uh, dispensing all these hormones within its own body that end up in the, the flesh that 
is consumed and people eating this are consuming the fear hormones from these animals. It's just, it's just, and it's wrong. They're not ours to kill. They're in order, they have their own lives. Right. They're not ours to kill. And each animal is an individual. That's something that w was, uh, really became apparent to me at the, uh, the first conference I went to, and that each animal is really an individual, just like each of us is an individual. And, um, yeah. yeah, I don't know what else. Yeah, I mean, it would be a little, it would be different, right, if we actually needed to eat animals to thrive and to we be don't. healthy. And we, we don't, don't, even, we don't, we don't have the digestive system no. of a carnivore. No, the digestive we, tract, the fingers, we don't anything. We don't have, the we don't claws. See. But the teeth, what else? I mean, we can everything. Go, everything. Our eyesight. Yeah. We can yeah. see color yeah. so we can pick out ripe fruit in a tree. Carnivores mm -hmm. see movement so they can catch prey. Uh, we, we don't, our digestive tract is long, carnivores is short, so it can get in there and get out. The pH of our, of our stomach is completely different. The carnivore has a much higher, a much lower pH, it's inverse, more acidic. Um, Everything, everything, but what everything. About, we have fingernails, not claws. We don't have the dentition <laughs> of carnivores. So there's a, I like to recommend another uh, source, Dr. Milton Mills, um, an actual traditional physician does a whole thing about the, our anatomy and how we are not carnivores. And he also does a great thing. I love the biology of disgust and how we are not, so people who eat meat, they're not taking the whole animal and biting, eat, biting into it. And, you know, when it's rotting and covered with flies, you want flies with that? Yeah, so right. You want flies with that? You want flies with that? Right. No. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you, who's going to just chomp on a, on a, on a pig? You, you really like the barbecue sauce, right. the, you can, the flame broiling, the salt, the spices, the... The oils, the, it, it can't be the A1 eaten. steak sauce, I mean. It can't be eaten without all that stuff yeah. and cooking. And again, no other organism on the planet is cooking its food. It's true. None. It's true. If, I'm a, if you're an herbivore, you see something, you grab it and eat it. If you're a carnivore, you see something, you kill it and eat it. Right then and there. But what about when you go to the hospital and there's that section of the hospital with, with all the fruitarians there and the raw <laughs> vegans? What about that? Oh, wait, that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist, but there are special parts of the hospital for cancer and uh, all sorts of different diseases. And so, so many of our diseases are caught, diseases, not our diseases, diseases of humankind exactly, exactly. are caused by diet. And, you know, yeah, instead of adjusting our diet, uh, we'll just uh, wait till we need a quadruple bypass because our arteries clogged with cholesterol. And uh, it's just crazy. The whole thing's crazy. It's wild, man. <laughs> it's wild. So what, do you, what, would, what did you notice from when you went vegan, basically, right? Oh, mostly okay. Vegan to, to raw vegan. So I lost almost 50 pounds just going from vegan to raw vegan. I wasn't trying to lose weight. Wow. I was at 198, 198, almost 200 pounds. I'm 155, and that has fluctuated, but thanks to you, it's been constant since we, we met. <laughs> and I'm at 155, so I lost almost uh, like 45 pounds. And I wasn't trying to lose pounds. It just happened being on the raw diet. And I was a little puffy and swollen. And uh, you now I'm good. I'm good. That was, the ma that was the most major thing. I'm sure there's other things that I'm not thinking of right now. Um, all right, so it's conjunction, maybe it's in conjunction with the bike cycling. So when I first, I first started about 10 years ago when I was in massage school, and like it was like a struggle for me to do five miles. I was like, oh my God. And now, yeah, so maybe it's in conjunction with that too. My athletic performance improved. Uh, I do 23 is my regular ride, but like I said a couple of years ago, we, my, I did 60 with my son, and who's 26. And again, we get back to the house, he crashes on the couch, sorry, Aiden, 
and uh, <laughs> then we I go out. I went. To, I didn't go to something active. I went to a uh, sound healing. So I'm also into sound healing, which is really great. Yeah, he's a them. healer too. Oh yes, I'm a licensed massage therapist, and uh, I do a lot of uh, therapeutic work and healing work. And I'm also studying rapid resolution therapy, which is kind of like a psychotherapy, but it's not. It's more of an educational uh, perspective and a means uh, of communicating with the unconscious mind, which is really running the whole show. Right, and we might actually uh, test that uh, rapid release out on yours truly. I've also, I have done an actual session with him for body work. And I, I can tell you that if you're on the big island of Hawaii, hit this guy up. He has a mixture of different types of, of you know, different modalities. types, modalities, that was it's the called. word, yeah. different modalities that he's uh, kind of merged together into his, his own format. And he's just not just like, oh, hey, here's this. And it's, he is, he wants you to, he wants to have, fill out this. Okay, where's the injuries? Did you have surgeries? And he really looks at the whole skeletal system, and oh, he he is the very holistic. He incorporates parts of cranial sacral, I would say Reiki, a little bit of Swedish massage in there. It's not super heavy on like the massage part. It's more of like a spiritual body work where it's just gonna like yeah, illuminate you and open your heart and relax your muscles and joints and whatever is going on so i recommend this guy he's a he's definitely got some amazing stuff and and yeah thank you for mentioning me um this wasn't about me really it was about you and about the animals but um yeah it's you know he has done a lot of work though like he's he's been starting to do a lot of water fasting oh, I've done more, it. Yep. more and more stuff and it is interesting like i think that they might find this interesting where maybe you could explain how before before we worked together, you were having the arthritis when you were cutting over. Right, right. So the way I, I cut a mango is I'll, I'll slice like a large portion of it off the seed, then I'll cut that into three pieces, and then on a flat uh, cutting board, I'll take the knife and go this way. And I was having trouble with my thumb pushing the knife, so I, was, I ended up holding the knife like this to get the mango off of the skin. And then since Light's recommendations, I'm now back to doing it in a more normal way. And I'd just like to comment on the massage that I do, yes, I do a whole intake. I do, I have you stand up, I observe you. Um, and then I do a process to you from RRT, Rapid Resolution Therapy, that uh, to get your mind involved when we get on the table. And all of this is before the time starts when you get on the table. During the table, you're trying to have your mind involved in the massage. I do do a lot of uh, active work. Well, I'll, I'll have you move in a certain way as I'm giving the massage, especially if you have an injury or a complaint in certain areas. Mm. Just wanted to yeah. tighten that up a little bit. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. So, uh, so have you been taking the herbs yet? or? I'm sorry to confess. <laughs> Live on, <laughs> Live on Nobody camera. Nobody wants I confess. to take the herbs. Easy. He, 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 I listened to his dietary advice and he gave me some herbs and tea, which I, I've capsuled them up, but I haven't started popping them yet. And I have yeah. to. I have a, to. Yeah, because he doesn't like the taste of licorice root. Right. So I get that. Um, but yeah, that's the, that shows you that, you know, you can live very healthy, but without doing some of the detoxing, he's only started to do this. I mean, he... he, he so he, I've done fasting. He's done fasting. The, but... the longest fast I did was 23 days. Yeah. That, no, 21 days. I'm sorry. 21 days. That was about a year ago. Yeah. I could have gone longer, but I need. I realized I would have needed somebody to help me. Yeah. And uh, and I've done a bunch of 10-day fasts. He's, and... He gets it. You know, it's he's not just expecting... You're, yeah. you're going to be 70. Wow, I didn't yeah. know it was this month. I was going to ask you, but... He's not expecting, we don't expect these just, even when you do a 23 day water fast and more stuff like he's been doing, like how long did it take for, you know, for our hands and he's with his feet, just minor things to, to, to turn, to turn up, you know? So he's been doing right. great and, and he's real. And it's like, look, if you really want to heal without, you know, taking a pill, which won't help you at all, it'll just make things yeah. worse. Um, it, it can take years, even if you've been, that's the thing, you can be a, a vegan for a for hundred years, but you, you want to do the, the, the lifestyle, 
then some detoxing and rebuilding and then you also just want to go back to the lifestyle and, and just be you know like you want to and then if you want to go to try the raw vegan or the fruitarian thing or the juice liquidarian thing by all means just you know whatever calls to you you know that's the thing is wherever yeah yeah it just it just keeps elevating just keeps elevating i feel like each change in my diet has been a step up and also a step up in my health and you've noticed now you really get the formula where i was trying i was trying to tell you like dude the proteins and the fats some fats you can heal a little bit with and proteins depending on how much uh, proteins not so much but i was telling him hey no nuts and seeds and then he was he, he was like oh i'm not doing that and i was then later on he's like oh i'm doing sunflower seeds i'm like it's a low protein seed but it's still a little protein so like sometimes depending so, on the severity i was sprouting them but you still say that that's, oh, that's not it's going to take away the enzyme inhibitors it'll make it digest easier anyway be, i stopped yeah, that yeah i stopped that yeah and uh they continued to improve and then i had some whole, some coconut i cut three days in a war, row and it got worse again and I, so i stopped that again and so it's a great it's just it like just, keep, just gradual journey and things improve and this guy's yeah this guy's running laps around me now so we'll see <laughs> we'll see we're, we're gonna be hiking some mountains i think soon in the future and uh yeah i'm i'm so blessed to have met this guy is there anything else you I, I, don't, I don't feel deprived i feel that the fruit is nature's bounty and i mean you get a, a, a ripe mangoes great or you get some special thing like rulinia oh my god the scientific name Rolidia delicioso and they're not kidding um i don't know i don't know what else i think that's there's always more so i, when, I when i was vegan yeah yeah i was on a bunch of medication that's a whole another story uh -huh. for, and so it's been like 10 years since i've been off the meds and uh yeah medication free no medical conditions that's amazing just just amazing at stay, i stay at my ideal weight i don't have to do anything to check my yeah since i stopped the nuts i can just stay at my ideal weight it was like i got overweight and i would fast for a little bit get back down you know i'm done with that yeah <laughs> yeah you're in a healthy healthy really healthy spot and uh, yeah I'm not, you know, I see, uh, so I'm a massage therapist. I said that a couple of times. So people come to me and they got a whole list of complaints. And I'm, as they're talking, I'm looking at their intake form. And I'm like, oh my God, this person's the same age as me. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking they're much older. And yeah, I don't want to be that person. I want to be this person. Okay, what about for somebody who wants to be vegan, who is thinking about it? What are what are a couple of tips you can say like to make it to make it or mistakes to avoid or anything like that? that you well, can, I think the mo I, I don't know if this is what you're looking for, but I think the most important thing is really realizing that all of these animals that are used for food are individual beings, and they all have feelings and feel pain and fear. And they're not ours to do with what we want. They are independent living beings. They are sentient beings, which means they have they have senses, they feel things, they're in pain and fear. And it's not right. They're not ours. Thou shalt not kill. I don't know what else I can say. Yeah. Right. And, and that's really the most important thing. I hear about vegans, who, people who become vegan for health reasons, and that can always change. If they put out some stupid study saying that, yeah. you know, eggs are okay, you know, uh, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. about, it's not about, so you can make a study that shows you anything, really. Yeah. <laughs> but nobody's doing a study of, of people like me. All right, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Should we do a new ending? No, this is it. This is the new ending. But yeah, we just wanted to uh, wish you well out there. And um, thank you for taking on a health journey, a journey of uh, discovery, of personal freedom, and inner knowing and inner peace. And 
giving, giving, uh, you know, giving back. And uh, yeah, so thank you, brother. Thank you oh, for thank you. thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, great. Hey, <laughs> that was great, man. He started. He said the word, <laughs> which I don't even think I want to have on. But uh, maybe should we show them where we are? We can. We are on the beautiful uh, coast of the island of Hawaii, and it, there's lava, and there's the ocean, and the in the distance. I hope you guys can see it with this funny camera, but that's where we're at, and we're about to go into this lava tube that goes out into the ocean cliff, and it's really scary, and I've taken a few people here, but hey, be blessed, be free. Yes, eat fruit. <laughs> Got fruit? <laughs>